Hey guys, it's Thorpian here to make another video about how to play Skyblock Isles. So today what we're going to be talking about is the alchemy skill. Now I've had a lot of people ask me about a guide for this. I've also had a lot of people ask me about fletching. Fletching is coming up. I need uh, one more smithing level in order to test another method that I'm trying to see if it's worth doing. And uh, Artisan's also coming up. All of the methods are tested. I just can't actually release the guide yet because there's a bug that I need to be fixed before I can do it. Hopefully they'll get on it soon. <clears throat> anyway. So uh, what we're gonna be doing today is alchemy. So before I start the guide of how to find all the altars and also which altars to, to use and not use, I wanna tell you about how to get rune essence. Um, so uh, I would definitely recommend being at least level, uh, what is it, level, level, level 25 magic before you start doing alchemy, just because it makes it so much faster to get rune essence. So in order to mine rune essence, you want the best mining gear you can get. Mining helmet, uh, mining vest if you have one. I still don't because, yeah. Anyway, uh, a best pickaxe you can use and a seer wand as well as, or well, actually any wand, as well as, and check out my beautifully organized storage. Yeah, yeah, you like it. And a rune essence backpack. Uh, if you don't have a rune essence backpack, I'd probably recommend waiting and getting one actually because it will make it significantly faster um, in order to do uh, rune craft or rune mining. So you just head over to the wizard tower and you pop over here and uh, you just go ahead and mine your rune essence. Um, and you fill up your backpack and you go back and uh, either use the lodestone teleport or just teleport back to Warp Molo. This does have a rune cost associated with it. It's worth it, I promise, uh, by far. So anyway, the point of this video is that we are going to go ahead and go to all the altars and I'm going to tell you which ones you want to do in order to level your alchemy. So in order to unlock the ability to craft runes, you actually need to do the wizard tower quest. And it's really a, a good quest to do because you will get some alchemy levels for it. Now, if you don't get enough alchemy levels to hit level eight, I would actually recommend investing some of your early adventure XP bottles into alchemy. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the fastest way to get to every altar from the closest storage to that altar. So first, we're going to go ahead and go to the air altar. Now, the air altar is the only altar you can use to start with. So it's going to be the one that you're going to use unless you get to level eight first using those bottles, as I recommend. And I really do highly recommend that because the water altar is closer to storage and it gives more experience for rune. So we're just going to hop over to this here air altar. The air mages are passive. You don't need to worry about them. The horses don't work, so you do need to worry about that. I'm wearing a walking stick, which actually was a mistake, uh, and boots of travel. And the reason that that was a mistake is that I actually need a relic, which is something I was going to talk about. So let's talk about relics for a moment here. So in order to do rune crafting, you actually need the relic for the rune, for the altar that you want to use. So for example, I'm going to the air altar and I will need the air relic in order to use the apprentice altar. I will need the apprentice relic, so on and so forth. These relics are all obtainable from mobs and I will go ahead and actually tell you the best mobs to get them from as well as part of this video. So we're gonna start with the air altar. You get the air relic for free when you do the quest for the wizard tower quest. So that is where you get the air uh, relic. I actually haven't gotten another one. I'm not sure if there is a mob. There probably is. There's probably a mob that gets you another one, but you only ever need one, so there's really no point. Uh, unless you want to craft orbs, which is something we'll talk about a little bit later. So we're going to go over to the air altar again, and hopefully this time, you know, we've got our relic in hand and we'll actually craft the runes. And it's a pretty simple process in terms of forging. Sorry, forge the runes, runescape vibes. You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Um, and it's really simple. You just need the relic. You need to go to the altar and you need to craft the runes. And that's the best way to level alchemy. Now, why do you want to level alchemy? You want to level alchemy because you want to make mage gear. So we're just going to hop up to this really cool, actually, animation here. And we're just going to right click the altar. And then it has this really cool little swooshy wooshy. And boom. 
air runes. And then we're gonna go ahead and craft some more. So you just actually have to empty your backpack and do this three times. Unfortunately, that is the fastest way to get this done. And you can multiply the amount of runes you get. Um, now for the air altar, the way you do that is by getting the air gloves. Um, you can also use Corrupt Essence, but we'll talk about that later because it's a little more complicated. So in order to get air gloves, you just have to kill air mages. Air mages will drop them with a chance. So it's about a 1 out of 3,000 chance, and you'll get double the air runes when you rune forge. I don't really think it's worth the trouble because I don't think air runes are worth making. And I, because basically it's much cheaper and better in all cases to buy runes instead of making them. Uh, except for maybe dark runes, but not really. Anyway, that's it for air runes, guys. And so I'm going to teleport over to Skygaror. And I'm going to show you where the Apprentice Altar is. So Skygaror is the best way to get to the Apprentice Altar. And unfortunately, you can only use it in daytime. So I will be back in the daytime. All right, guys, it's daytime, so we can head over to the Apprentice Altar. And what we need to do, actually, to get there is to take flippers. So we're going to put away... Our, well, actually, we're going to keep our boots of travel on for the moment. And we're going to use our flippers to get to the Apprentice Altar as quickly as possible. Now, I'll show you when I show you the Cosmic Rune when we come back to this altar, the way to get there if you do not have flippers. But if you do have flippers, the fastest way... Oh, what? Oh, right, I need to put on the flippers. There we go. So you need agility level 10 and flippers, agility level 10 isn't too hard to get. Um, and you just come over here to the Apprentice Altar from Skygoror and craft your essence. Um, now there aren't any Apprentice Gloves, they only have the Elemental Gloves. So there is no way to get the gloves for this. However, um, you can uh, obtain this relic pretty easily from uh, Wharf Molo men and women. Uh, in fact, that is probably the easiest way to get one. I have, I think, about 17 of them from just randomly killing men and women from time to time. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick bestiary search just so that you guys can see other sources if you really, really don't want to kill those dwarf men and women. So, quick search is going to give us to a Francis Relic. And I misspelled that, of course. Uh, apprentice. Apprentice relic. Oh, I really, it's not working. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put apprentice. My mans. What is happening? Oh, I have to search for drops. That's right. All right, here we go. So, Wharf Mullah Men, Wharf Willow Women, Sky Goror Men and Women. Uh, fireflies drop it. They're not really worth the time. Uh, duppies drop it if you're doing some, you know, artisan, maybe you'll kill some of those. Goobers, definitely not not really worth it. So basically, if you want to get them from the Skygore men and women, it's a 1 out of 74. From the Wharf, it's a 1 out of 66. So they're really easy to get. Uh, shouldn't be an issue. All right, guys, uh, next rune. All right, we are at Gigar Hogar, the giant place. Which honestly is so far away from everything that earth runes are really not worth your time. Just like air runes aren't. Just like apprentice runes aren't. Um, so the earth altar is literally in the corner, the south east, east corner of the map. And they have surrounded by earth mages, of course. Looks really cool. And you just, as always, you click on it to craft. Now, these... Uh, these relics are obtainable from frogs, from the goblin men and women, from goblin soldiers. Uh, I would recommend the goblin town people to uh, get them if you have the goblin town unlocked. If you don't, frogs are decent, or you can do woodland snails. And honestly, this relic's not really worth getting because these runes aren't really worth crafting. Um, it's kind of far, it doesn't give as much XP, it's really not that great. So anyway, uh, the gloves are obtainable from Earth Mages. You can get them with, like, uh, probably a 1 out of 3,000 chance. I'll go ahead and let you guys know exactly what that is right now. Earth Mage, Earth Gloves are, yeah, 1 out of 3,200. It'll give you double Earth Runes. But, like I said, these things aren't really worth 
crafting because they give less XP than water runes. Now, that being said, they are kind of, I think they're closer to the bank than the water rune place. So uh, there may be some benefit if you have kind of like an unlimited rune essence sort of deal going on. But I think water runes are definitely the way to go. So that's why I recommend getting level eight and just going ahead and crafting water runes. All right, guys, speaking of which, we'll do water runes next. All right, guys, we are here at the Wharf Malo Bank in order to get to the water altar as quickly as possible. And to do that, we're just going to run north um, to the water altar. Now, uh, contrary to popular belief, you do not need flippers to get to the altar, even though it is kind of out in the water. Um, and you'll see that in a second. So you go over here towards the bakery. And you just go right out to the altar here. Um, there are also some beach snails and hermit crabs in the area. I believe just beach snails in here. Yeah, just beach snails. There's hermit crabs on other beaches, and there are these lovely water mages. Um, if you want to get the relic for this, the water relic, um, you can kill the beach snails and hermit crabs. They have a pretty good drop rate of it. You can kill the water mages if you're incredibly strong. I wouldn't recommend that. Generally speaking, they're kind of annoying. In fact, all magic mobs are kind of annoying. But you can get it from the beach snails, you can get it from the hermit crabs, there are other mobs as well, but those would be the ones I recommend. And just like the other altars, you go ahead and you craft. Now, just like the other elemental altars, there are also water gloves. Water gloves are a drop from the water mages. Surprise, surprise. Look at that, we leveled alchemy. Um, and the chance of getting those gloves, I will tell you right now, is one out of 3,500. So again, it makes water rune crafting nicer, and water rune crafting is actually pretty good, but in the time it takes you to get those gloves, you will already have leveled your alchemy from level 8 to level 25. It's pretty fast. So honestly, I really wouldn't recommend farming the water gloves. I wouldn't, I really wouldn't recommend farming any of the elemental gloves because it's really not worth your time in my opinion. So um, you'll have your water gloves um, and sorry, you won't have water gloves and then you, you will actually craft the fastest way to level alchemy, I believe, is to craft water runes all the way to level 25 and then to craft cosmic runes. Nonetheless, I will go ahead and show you guys the rest of the altars that are currently in game. Next up is going to be fire. All right, guys, we're here at the Pyre Bank in order for me to show you how to get to the fire altar. Now, the easiest way to do this is to go through the volcano. So you'll need to have finished the volcano quest. You can also go around and use the rope shortcut. It actually gets you right to the fire altar, but it's kind of far to walk there. So I prefer this method. And you just skirt around this edge here you run up to this altar. And this may be a good alternative, actually, if you've completed the uh, the Pyre quest um, uh, to, to, to making water runes, uh, because it is a little bit faster of a run uh, to do this than to go to the water altar, but you need a pretty high level of alchemy to actually get in here. So you may not have it at the time that you do the quests. So, you know, if you have the alchemy level and you have the volcano a lot, Fire is faster than water, otherwise water is going to be your way of choice until you hit Cosmic. So uh, the relic for this can be farmed pretty easily from Pyre Men or Pyre Women. Uh, there's a few other options, but they're really the best ones uh, because they're really easy to kill. You can get a lot of them really fast. And you can also get Fire Gloves. Now Fire Gloves are one of the few gloves that are actually worth farming even if you're not doing alchemy because they provide a bonus to Fire Spells. Um, which can be uh, pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, magic item. So this is about a 1 in a 3,600 drop chance, and it drops from these lovely fire mages right here. So that's it for fire, guys. And next up is going to be dark. Hey, guys. So I am here on the way to the dark rune altar. And the fastest way to get here is actually by using the boots of travel teleport that takes you to Gyra's airship. Now, obviously, I recognize that not everyone has boots of travel, so I will not be using that as the only way to get here because I am not a jerk. 
Uh, so I'm going to show you a better way to get there. But just so you know, the fastest way is through the boots of travel. Um, and unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, aggressive mobs here. So you kind of have to be careful with the marauders. You can fight your way through, I guess, if you really want to. I prefer to run around. And there's some really weird like map, end of the map kind of edge stuff. So you can't really run around like the north side of this pit very well, which is really frustrating to be completely honest. And I'm kind of a little pissed that that's how they did it, but it's fine, I guess, but I'm mad. Anyway, so we're going to run around the south side of the pit. Now be careful if you're here at nighttime, there will be skeletons and stuff here, but because we're in the daytime, we're pretty good. Um, and we're going to take this swing -a -ling over here and swing over to the dark altar where we will rune forge some dark runes. We and jump. Okay. All right, cool. Now you need a level of agility to do that. What level? Let's see. Agility, shortcuts, marauders, ro ravine, rope swing. You need to be level 18 to be able to do that. So you're going to need level 18 agility to be able to do this without having to kill marauders. So here we go. You just walk up to the dark altar, and just like before, you right-click to rune craft. There are no dark altar gloves, but these are a pretty good rune to be able to use higher-level magic spells. And people actually buy these pretty often for about 40-ish coins per. So it's not a terrible way to make money, but unfortunately the altar is kind of far from any bank. And I'll show you that as I run back to the nearest bank. Um, which is going to be in Tortuga. So that's, yeah, it's a pain. Um, where's my, okay, yeah. It might be closer to run to Ludodum, but you kind of have to like run around the backside. So it's, you know, it's just a pain in every way possible. I wouldn't recommend crafting these unless you want to make money. Maybe if you have Corrupted Essence, it's worth the run. But as you can see, I made like 80 runes, which is about what 80 times 40 is like 3200. There are faster ways to make money. Um, so we're going to put these back on and we're going to get our run back on. So we swing back across. We. Oh, 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 okay. Um, and actually, I didn't tell you yet how to get the relic. So, how do you get the relic? Let's see. The Dark Relic is dropped by Void Servants. Pretty easy kill. Magma Mites, they're okay, but they're annoying. The Duppies will drop them. Infernal Spiders drop them. Giants drop them. Uh, higher level stuff drops them, which is probably not your best choice. So I'd recommend Void Servants if you want to get one of these relics. Drop chances are 1 out of 2,000, though, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. Magma Mites have a better drop chance, but they're just a pain in the butt to kill. Uh, duppies, you could probably kill like 600 of these pretty fast, but these relics aren't that easy to get compared to the other ones. Um, giants do drop these pretty often, so they might be a solid option if you can take down a giant or if you're major, you know, range and you can just, you know, kill them from far away. Duppies are probably the fastest way to get them. Or of course you can buy them on the market because people sell stuff on the market pretty often. All right, so the fastest bank is actually at Pyre and it takes quite a while to run there, unfortunately. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and run there, and this should help you to understand why I don't recommend crafting dark runes. Oh, the horses. The horse is working. It's working. Oh, I'm spoke to soon. Okay. All right. All right. And of course, if you don't have Pyre unlocked, well, then you're kind of out of luck because this is just too far away from anything to make it worth your time. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just how it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drag this out just so you can see exactly why I highly disrecommend doing the dark altar, but it's so boring, but it's important because we actually have to run to Pyre to run to our next altar, which is going to be the dream rune altar. Um, and again, highly disrecommend doing that because it is far as crap from a storage. Now, that one is actually pretty close to Ludodum. So I am going to go to Ludodum for that video. But if you don't have that unlocked because you don't have level 45 woodcutting, your best option is to run north from Pyre. So yeah, not a great altar either. Oh, and fun fact, they also have aggressive mobs in there. What? Why? Good question. Nobody knows why, but everybody doesn't like it. All right, anyway. 
here is the bank and we are going to go ahead and deposit our dark runes and get ready to take our next trip so next up we have got the dream altar to make dream runes these are kind of useful for a number of different spells um, so they're kind of nice and we're actually going to go ahead and take a weapon for this and you'll see why in a moment I'm going to go ahead and switch this offhand to make my life a little easier um, and take off this mining helmet. These mobs aren't that hard, but, you know, I'm just not trying to, like, die by accident while I'm showing you guys a video because that would be embarrassing. All right. So the way to get there is uh, it's closest to Ludodum, but most of you won't have that unlocked. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run there from Pyre and then run back to Ludodum. Um so that you know how to get there. And this one is a doozy. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about the relic as we are running. It's a long run. It's at Mount Snor. 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 Mount Snor. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. That's the official name now, Mount Snor. So uh, you see Mount Snor is this way. And uh, there's a lot of aggressive mobs there, so you don't actually want to run over the mountain. Generally speaking, in Minecraft, you really don't want to run over mountains. Just, you know, FYI for those of you out there that haven't really played this game much. Don't run over the mountains. Also, don't do that in Oblivion. Fun fact, one time I was playing Oblivion, and I spent the better part of an hour climbing my horse up a mountain. My roommate at the time made a lot of fun of me. Why? Because there's a path that goes around the mountain. And I tried to go straight up for an hour. Needless to say, I didn't really enjoy Oblivion. Then I got Skyrim and I had gotten older and wiser and realized that you don't want to run over mountains. So don't run over the mountain, just run right around like I just did. And then you want to hop up to this cave here. And before we go in, I'm going to go ahead and tell you where to get... Did I miss the cave? No, it's right here. Okay. Where to get dream relics. So we're going to go ahead and search our bestiary. And we get dream relics from these annoying as crap little mite sickle guys. They have a 1 out of 400 chance of dropping it. Not that great, but the Crux of Ice is a nice magic item, so they might be worth farming. Um, you can also get it from unicorns. You probably don't want to farm them, honestly. Um, you can get it from drowned pirates. They're kind of hard, but this is the best way to kill them if you really want the dream relic. Um, and also nymphs. Uh, which are in the magic forest they're the flowers so anyway um these aren't too bad i honestly just bought mine for 50k because i couldn't be bothered now these guys are a little annoying and if they explode yeah that little explosion attack hits you you will be forced to um be frozen which is a real pain in the butt so you just kind of want to run through i like to just kill them all it's, an, it's better than having them yeah do that attack and like freeze you um, you can also kind of just jump down to this altar here. And the actual altar doesn't have any around them, which makes which is nice. So, uh, unfortunately, I did not get any essence with me. Not even a one. Um, and this requires corrupt essence. Do you have to have corrupt essence? All right, hold on, guys. I'll be right there. All right, guys, so I'm back here with some corrupted essence just to see what the deal is. And also, I got regular rune essence, so we're going to test this right now. Uh, fun fact, the Mitesicles are, it's actually a single combat area, so if you kind of let one attack you and then just drop down here, it's actually not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and use some Corrupt Essence here, and as you'll see, the Dream Runes we get should be doubled. So we're using one inventory, so it's about 32-ish, or 31, and as you can see, we ended up with 62, um, which is nice, because I actually want Dream Runes. No, so you can't actually use uh, regular Rune Essence. I don't know what it was telling me. It was way off base. All right. So, regular rune essence works just fine on this altar, and as you can see, we got way less, and we're going to go ahead and finish up this crafting here. So, alright guys, that's it for the uh, dream altar, and I'm going to show you guys how to get out of here the best and fastest way. So, this is better than going to Pyre, in my opinion, but it doesn't work, obviously, if you don't have Ludodum unlocked. Now, I believe there's a shortcut right here. Yes, so you can use this shortcut if you have level 42 agility. I do not, so I just have to run out of the cave. So if you just let one of these things attack you, the rest cannot because it's sing uh, single combat. That's actually not too bad. I will until you get out of its range. 
and then a new one can get you. So if you want to go fast, that's the best way to go. Obviously, if you can use a mount successfully, that would be even better. The shortcut will take you out right here, which isn't much closer to storage, but you don't have to run past the stupid mitesicles. Um, so as we run, I'm gonna let's talk about our last altar. The last altar is cosmic. That's the one I recommend doing. And we're gonna go ahead and look this up so we can talk about it. Um, these drop from fireflies, guardian bees, and brute bees, uh, and the queen bee. They're kind of a huge pain to get, but again, you can buy them, and lots of top-level players are doing queen bees. So there's a bunch of extra cosmic relics floating around. Um, you can also kill the brute or guardian bees. Guardian bees aren't too hard. Brute bees can be a little tough. Or if you really want to farm fireflies for like a bajillion years, you can go ahead and do that and get the relic from them. So this is going to be the way to bank that I think is fastest from the dream altar. But again, not worth doing. Just buy them from the shops if you want them um, and don't do them for experience. So you got to be careful going into loot of them because mud golems will kill you, but there aren't any at this entrance. They do sometimes sneak towards the bank though, so you do need to be careful. All right, so we're good, and we're going to go ahead and bank here, and I will see you guys in Skygaror for the last altar. So here we are back in Skygaror again in order to show you guys where the cosmic altar is. If you've been watching the whole video, as hopefully you have, you'll know that it's actually the exact same spot as the air altar. So, or sorry, the apprentice altar. And it just happens to be the apprentice altar at nighttime. Now, the best way to get there is with flippers. Unfortunately, I forgot my flippers at the bank. So uh, you take that water shortcut with flippers if you can. If you can't, you can run over from the other side and get there without flippers. So I will show you this and then, you know, I showed you the way to get there with flippers uh, for the apprentice altar video. So, you know, if you're like me and you don't want to run things and no one sold flippers, this is the way to go. So you just take these runes over to the cosmic altar and make them into cosmic essence. Now, cosmic is the currently best altar available in the game. Therefore, it is going to be the way that you're going to use to train all the way from level 25 up. So literally, as soon as you hit level 25, the only thing that's worth making for experience is going to be cosmic runes. Therefore, you will make a lot of cosmic runes. So what do you do with all these cosmic runes? Well, you can use them, obviously, to, you know, cast spells or whatever. But really, you're going to want to make money off of them. So just sell them uh, to the rune shop that is in the magic forest. If you need a video of how to get that, uh, check out my channel. So we're just going to craft our cosmic runes, and that is it for the altar portion of this guide. Now I'm going to go through some additional uh, items that you may want, such as orbs uh, and how to make them, as well as um, the uh, corrupt essence. So as promised, I'm going to talk a little bit about orbs and a, a little bit about the corrupt rune essence. So first off, let's let's do orbs. So orbs are something that you can make and put on a magic uh, wand or staff as a mod. And what they allow you to do is it basically it holds 999 air, earth, water, or fire rune charges. And in order to make this, you just take a, an extra relic and an empty orb, and you walk up to an altar and you will make one. Um, it's pretty simple. That's really it. And you'll get something that looks like... Well, I don't have one, but you'll get something that's basically a little shiny ball that holds 999 charges. It's pretty nice. It's a great uh, way if you have extra relics, especially for fire runes, because honestly, it's a lot easier to have a fire, uh, what is it, orb, uh, than to buy 999 of these. But they're only there for the elemental runes, so it's not the greatest and most amazing thing in the world. Now, Corrupt Rune Essence, how do I make that? Well, first off, you're going to want regular Rune Essence. And I'm not actually going to do this because um, I don't have the item that I need to do it. And I'll explain that in a second. So you have, you take Rune Essence and you run out of Pyre and over here to the Alchemist's Lair. 
inside the alchemist lair, there are scary alchemists. So you really don't want to go in there. And of course, I have 300k on me, so I really am going to be extra, extra careful. So there's your alchemist. They do a ton of damage. They have a ton of HP. But right over there, let's see if we can get the words to pop up, is the artifact of corruption. So if you walk over to it and right click it, just like the altars, you will be able to turn your rune essence into corrupted rune essence. Well, if you can't kill the alchemist, how do you do that? Well, the alchemist drops something called the alchemist sash. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn. Yeah, I don't even have them unlocked because I really can't kill one. Anyway, they drop an item called the alchemist sash. It's pretty rare, but if you wear it, it makes you immune. So it makes the alchemist passive to you. So just like the monkey mask works for Kogo, there's something for the alchemist. And that allows you to go in there and corrupt essence. They also dropped a corrupted essence backpack, uh, which currently kind of uh, sucks because you can't use it at the same time as a regular backpack. So you can't really corrupt the essence very efficiently. It's kind of a hot mess and they're hopefully going to rework it soon. But besides that, there is a corrupted essence backpack. And the way you make it is by getting the alchemist slash, making them passive, and you will make this shiny, super corrupt rune essence. Why do you want that? because it doubles your rune output, which by the way, also doubles your experience. Now it doesn't really matter for the early runes because you can get experience so fast, but when you start talking about making dream runes because you want dream runes, making dark runes because you want dark runes, or making cosmic runes for experience, that experience doubling really adds up. So it's nice to start corrupting the rune essence as soon as you can. Um, what is this random chicken noises? All right. And the level that you can start doing corrupting rune essence is at 30. So you want to do cosmic uh, water uh, until 25, cosmic until 30, and then you want to start corrupting rune essence, which actually also gives experience. Obviously, if you can, if you can't, just keep making cosmics. Um, if you can corrupt the rune essence, you want to corrupt it and then make cosmics with it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to be able to make my artisan and fletching videos very soon. Uh, please like, please subscribe. Uh, I am actually a Twitch affiliate now, so, you know, follow me on Twitch, and hopefully I'll be streaming live soon. Bye!